How do they approach you to say, hey, Bob, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? The way this went down was, it was 1982. I'd put a jet engine in my my Honda. Los Alamos put it on the front page of the paper. Los Alamos man, physicist at the lab, built this 200 mile an hour Honda jet car that I, I drove to work every day. <laughs> I was known in Los Alamos, the guy with the weird car, and the, you know, you could hear it from a mile away. The day that came out on the front page of the paper was the day Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb, was giving a lecture down there at the lab. I went down there early and Ed Teller was outside leaning on a brick wall there and reading the front page of the paper. Now this is a guy out of history, so I introduced myself. Hey, I'm the guy you're reading about there. And we talked for a little while and it was cool. Fast forward to years later, I had moved out to Las Vegas. You know, went on to other things and I wanted to get back into the scientific community. I sent resumes out and one of them went out to Ed Teller and referenced our meeting. Anyway, he remembered me, gave me a reference, somebody to contact at EGNG. That's pretty much how it started.